start off with our, our mindfulness practice. Mindfulness is about focusing on our, ourselves and paying attention to one thing at a time, right? So we're gonna just pay attention to our breathing. That's gonna be like our, our anchor. It's gonna kinda hold us in place, okay? Just start by taking a nice, full, deep breath. And now the next breath, I want you to notice how your breath moves down into your belly. When we do our mindfulness practice, does it, it, it helps us to calm our bodies down? Yeah? So for today, what our focus is gonna be is about feelings. Let's think about some, just some general feelings. What, what are some feeling words? And then we'll, we'll make a little brainstorm list. Happy? Angry. Angry? Embarrassed. Embarrassed, yeah. All right, one more. Jealous. Jealous. Okay, that's a good, that's a good list. Are some of these uh, feeling words, are they a little easier to deal with or to, to feel than others? What would be uh, one, one word that's up there that's a little uh, maybe harder to deal with that you'd rather not? I have a bag of rocks because I'm, I'm a rock guy. Um, so think about, that's, if, if each, uh, each of the rocks in here is a feeling and we're carrying this around all the time, feel that. It's gonna make uh, getting around hard. When we go to a museum, um, what do we do? We look, we view. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of magically transform our classroom into a museum. I know, it's crazy, but get ready for it because it actually already happens. If you look in your journal, if you flip the page to page 13, you'll see four picture frames. I feel happy when, I feel angry when, I feel sad when, and I feel worried when. Okay, so I want you to take, take a couple minutes and I want you to think about a time recently that you had one of these feelings. I'm asking you to take a little bit of a risk and put what you've shared in your journal up there. So you have a choice. You can decide for yourself, I don't want to share that, and that's fine. But I'd like you to try to choose at least two to put up on, on a post-it, okay? That makes sense? One thing that happens a lot, you might want to, or you might be really focused on who wrote what. Think back to our, our agreement. We want to be respectful. So we're noticing and we're viewing with, and we're, we're thinking about our responses, but we're, we're keeping them to ourselves right now. How was that? I heard that it was awesome, it was awkward, it was, what was the other, interesting? Any of the ones that you read up there, did you connect with like, oh, I've felt like that. This is about being able to see what other people are feeling. The ability to feel or understand what someone else is feeling, there's, there's a word for that. Anyone know? So the word is called empathy. Empathy is being able to put, put yourself in, in someone else's shoes and feel the things that they feel. How about to close up today, since we, we, we focused at the beginning with uh, the mindfulness and we checked in about how we were feeling before and after. While you hear the chime, I want you to crack a little smile and I want you to notice how, how that feels in your body. You can even notice the effect that you have on each other. Thank you all.